good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. Now that I've reunited with my imagination, I thought it was time to get back out there and make some new photographic art. And I'm bringing you along for the ride. Before I can get out there and shoot this thing, there's a couple of things I need to do. As I'm sure you've seen by the title of this video, I've got some giant props to make. But first, let's talk plan. There's been a lot of times where I've gone out and done a shoot without doing any kind of planning. And granted, sometimes that does work for me. However, a lot of the times it did not work out and I had to go back out there and shoot it again or I ended up scrapping it because I thought it could be better. And I did exactly that on this image. I have already tried to shoot this. I had somewhat of an idea but I didn't stop to ask myself how it could be better or how I'm going to shoot this so that it looks exactly like it does in my head. So I went out there and tried to shoot the concept and as soon as I started pouring paint on the umbrella, I knew it wasn't going to work because it was not looking how I imagined it to be in my head. So that's where I'm at now. I've molded over. I've sat on it for a while. I've let it ruminate. And because I did that, I've made it better. Despite my lack of drawing skills, I like to sketch out my concepts before I go out and do the shoot. I find it helps me to visualize the concept by sketching it out. I've since added to the sketch since I've come up with ways to improve on it, but this is it in all its glory. As you can see, this right here is a perfectly accurate drawing of me with no head standing next to an easel with a canvas on it. I have an umbrella and a haze of smoky fog coming out of where my head ought to be. I'm holding a larger than usual paintbrush and I have a larger than usual paint tube floating overhead, constantly dripping paint onto my umbrella. I wonder what will happen once that tube of paint runs out. For the tube of paint, I'm thinking to make it around this big. I am using this empty moisturizing bottle as a reference. I like that it's almost empty and has a bunch of creases in it. You may be thinking, Charlie, why don't you just photograph this tube in your hands and then blow it up in Photoshop to look larger than what it is? It's because I want to move away from relying so heavily on Photoshop and do things more in camera with practical effects. And on the plus side, it makes it more magical. And you can't get better than that. Now about this tube. I was thinking to use chicken wire as the base because I can easily bend the shape and then I'm going to cover it in tape and paper mache and then I'll paint it. And that will give me a solid structure. So that's the plan today. I'm gonna go and slip into something a little more baggy and old so I do not ruin my nice jumper. Feel free to sit back, relax, and enjoy this montage of me making a giant prop. Last night I did a bunch of this paper mache business off camera. So while I wait for the liter of glue that I used on this last night to dry, I am going to dilly daddle along onto the next prop, which is the giant paintbrush. For the paintbrush, I'm going with the good old fashioned pole needle. Yes. 
That was a good catch and about the 50th time I've tried this. Right now this thing is a whole lot of it straight up and down but I really want to get that nice curvature that the paintbrush has where it kind of comes in and then up and then around. So I'm going to take a knife to this noodle and test out my carving skills. It's carving time! So looking at the paintbrush, it is thin at one end and then it gets fatter in the middle and then it starts to go thin again. Mmm, let us carve. Carve, carve, carving away today. Creating a mess is what I like to do. Okay, so I think I've got the general shape that I like. I think I want to cut it here because this part is the silvery part at the end of this and then the, the brush will come out. And this will become the paintbrush, which I think is a good size. I need to think about how I'm going to flatten this part here. need to flatten this part out. So I'm going to carve it and flatten it out. Okay, and Kai, and Kai, and Kai. I feel good about this. Now I need to get the paintbrush part in there though, the hairs. Yeah, that's gonna be a future Charlie problem. For now, I am going to paper mache this and let it start drying so that I can eventually paint these things. And then I can go out and do a photo shoot with these props that I've made. <laughs> okay, I am going to stop there. Alright, it has been a couple of days because, you know, life and stuff. But I have paper mache the paintbrush and now it is time to paint them. I'm going to be painting the tube white and then I'm going to put a colour on it for whatever colour I want it to be. Probably yellow. And then I'm going to be painting the paintbrush all black. It will have a silver part down the bottom, so similar to this paintbrush here. And then the brush part at the end will be black. I'm thinking I'm just going to clump up and glue a bunch of twine together and that will be the brush part. Hopefully that will work. First things first though, I have got to get these painted. A bippity boppity boop. And just like that, the props are now complete. All in all, I'm pretty happy with how these turned out, especially the tube of paint. I spray painted both of them, and as you can see, I went with an orange kind of color on the top of the tube. With the paintbrush, in hindsight, I probably could have just left this completely rounded. Since my carving skills are not that smooth, it's pretty messy up this end, but I will be holding it about here when I'm photographing it, so I think I should be able to get away with it. I used some aluminum tape at the bottom for the silver part of the brush, and I ended up cutting several strands of red yarn and spray painting them black to use as the brush tip. 
I also glued some cardboard in between them just to help stiffen them up. If you get up close to these, they are definitely far from perfect, but honestly, I kind of like that they're a little bit rough around the edges, if you know what I mean. But now all that's left to do is to shoot with these babies. You can bet that as soon as an overcast day comes around, I am going to be out there shooting this image and bringing this concept to life. If you've watched this far, I want to thank you so much for sticking around. I hope that you enjoyed seeing these props come to life. And I look forward to sharing a new video with you next week. Hopefully it'll be the photo shoot with these props, but I am a slave to the weather and I'm on Mother Nature's timeline. However, I'll be praying to the weather gods to bring me some cloud cover. For now, I must say goodbye and I will see you guys in the next one. Mwah!